update here is a fun one. I love this one. This is a third party plugin called Tape Stop. It's by the company Kilohertz. And we are going to play with this here in Studio One. Uh, there is a lot of people that want to be able to do tape stop effects in Studio One. There is a way to do it. And I do have another video on doing so, how to do it directly from Studio One. But this might be a little bit easier for some folks. So let's actually go to uh, the... Uh, to the classroom <laughs> and uh, we're going to look at the song that I've been using for the past couple of videos and we're going to play with the tape stop. I'm going to show you where to go and how to install it in a second, but I want to show you how it works. As I sit here waiting for the punishment that I okay, so now if I want to take a portion of this song and I want to slow the whole thing down give it the tape stop effect. The first thing I'm gonna I'm gonna do is I'm going to open up the plugin properties window here for the main out because I want it to stop everything. So if you look here, there is a couple of entries here for the kilohertz tape stop. One is a VST2, one is a VST3. I'll show you how to install both of those when uh, a little bit later in the video. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to choose the VST3. Okay. Not for any particular reason other than, one, other than it's at the top. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring it, and I'm going to put it in the inserts here on the main outs. And there you go. There it is. So now there is a default setting. Now if I hit play, and then I go ahead and I hit this button, watch what happens. As I sit here for the punishment race. Okay, so now... If you wanted to go do the really bad impression, if you wanted to do the really, really slow down to stop, you're going to go ahead, you're going to take the, the stop time, you're going to go ahead and you're going to adjust it. Now, if you click your mouse and you hold the mouse over it, you can actually see it. it's going to give you a reading of a certain amount of, of uh, milliseconds. So here's the start time. I'm going to have it start up quick at about 200 milliseconds, but I'm going to have it slow down over the course of about 907 milliseconds. So watch what happens. As I sit here waiting for the punish. <laughs> So the song actually still keeps playing. So if you've got things to a click and to a grid, it's going to start up at the right time. But as I sit here waiting. The that I really face. cool. So now, if I wanted to start up slow, I can go ahead and use the start time, bring it to about 800. As I sit here, that I face. <laughs> it Too is. Times I feel nothing, Too fun. It me in you can place. actually. Oh. And you can actually put in your own presets here and everything. So let's move that up. So now the other thing that you can do, which I think is kind of neat, is you can scale it, which I wish you could do to Studio One plugins, but you can't yet. There is that. There we go. So now you have this little box here. Oh, it's not just for decoration because you can click and drag the actual slope of how this thing's going to start. So I can do it like this. As I sit here waiting. Just shuts it off. There you go. So it is an awesome plugin. So where do I get it? Okay, I'm going to show you right now here. I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to take this off of full screen. And I am going to go to here and here is the website. And I'm going to make sure that this is in the description for this video. So you can just click on it and go for it. But once you get to the site, it is very simple. It'll actually give you an explanation and it'll give you a whole bunch of other things uh, that you can download. You click on the download button and you say download and it is going to ask for your email. You can go ahead and you can have it send the installer. It's going to send it 
to your inbox and you will download it from there and make sure that you carefully go through the installation steps because it's going to give you the option to download a whole bunch of demos of other plugins. This particular one is free. So you want to, if you just click on this and install it, it'll install it and you have it forever. And this one is really, really great. I really like this for playing around with tape top, uh, tape, <laughs> tape stop stuff. <laughs> and I uh, use it a lot for uh, the clients that are doing maybe dance music and hip hop and things like that. So it works well. There is a way to use it for automation. So if I go ahead and I open this up, uh, whoops, there we go, just like that. So if you have if you have the plugin ready to go, you can have it here in the automation and you can actually pull the little hand down and you can place it on an automation track and then you can automate like you normally do with Studio One. If you want to know how to use Studio One's automation, please see my video for Studio One beginners on using automation. All of this stuff is in there. I hope you guys found this helpful. It is a fun plugin, so please have fun. And if you guys could hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I have a ton of new stuff coming out uh, in the month of August for Home Studio Trainer and Studio One. Don't miss it. Hopefully, I'll see you there. Guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.